be discussing Viktor Frankl's logotherapy through the DreamWorks movie How to Train Your Dragon. Viktor Frankl's logotherapy is at large about finding life's purpose. Here we will find the lovely island of Burke. Our main protagonist, Hiccup, dreams of becoming a Viking like the rest of his town. The only problem is that he lacks strength. He attempts to change his fate by shooting down a dragon and feels that by killing a dragon, his life's purpose will be fulfilled, proving that he can be Viking material. But when Hiccup has a chance, he backs down from killing the dragon. He feels that his struggles with feeling meaningless in life will not be changed by killing the dragon. This is referred to as an existential vacuum by Viktor Frankl, where a person struggles with feelings of meaninglessness. Now that Hiccup has come to realize this, he will move on to de-reflection. De-reflection is where a person focuses too much on an issue or goal. Their attention is then redirected away from oneself to think about others first. Hiccup now realizes that instead of worrying about his Viking training, he should worry about the injured dragon. Hiccup then works to fix his tail so he can fly once more. He has found purpose by redirecting his focus into aiding the dragon. The next logotherapy technique is paradoxal intention. This involves intentionally facing one's own fears. Originally, Hiccup was afraid of Viking training, but after learning some tricks from his own dragon, he soon learns how to conquer his Viking training. He later finds that his purpose does not lie in killing dragons, but to create a mutual friendship between the dragons and his town. Viktor Frankl's last logotherapy method is Socratic dialogue, where one changes the meaning of something negative they once said and turn it into something of self-discovery. This can be heard by listening to how different Hiccup's last narrative is compared to his first one. This is Burke. This is Burke. It snows nine months of the year and hails the other three. It's 12 days north of Hopeless and a few degrees south of freezing to death. Any food that grows here is tough and tasteless. The people that grow here are even more so. The only upsides are the pets. While other places have ponies or parrots, we have... The only problems are the pests. You see, most places have mice or mosquitoes. We have... Dragons. That is all I hope you enjoyed.